So this week I'm continuing with the painting that I've been um, sh uh, videoing the progress of. Following the progress of this painting, what is becoming really evident is that in producing a painting, you often have to go backwards in order to come forwards. And this is where a lot of people get lost in their paintings because the natural, you're, you naturally want to keep going forwards. And sometimes the painting... Um, gets to a place where you don't like it and you think oh my goodness you know I don't like this this is a ghastly painting you know I've failed all of that um, negative talk but what basically is what you haven't it's not at a point of failure it's just needs to be redirected and in order, order to do that you need to bring it back into into a previous stage and this is why it's so important to know the different stages in the process of creating a, an abstract painting. And I, this is what I teach in one of my courses. I have the beginning stage, which is all about play and making marks and just building a surface. The middle stage, which is about um, finding a direction and establishing those areas of lights and darks. The late middle stage, which is about sort of clarifying and um, working out what your heroes are, what the painting is about, and developing those and making it really clear um, so that your viewer isn't overwhelmed when they look at the painting. It's, it, it might be quite complex, but it has a simplicity about it um, in that it's clear, it has clarity. And the final stage, which is just the finishing touches, just you know, making those contrasts really strong, um, really fine-tuning and adding little bits of detail so that when you come in close you've got little surprises and, and taking away distractions and just fine-tuning those things so that um, the, the whole painting, when it's finished, has that clarity about it. Um, and so at the stage that I'm at in this painting, I would say I've marched very boldly out of the beginning stage I went into the um, middle stage and was looking for direction. I got lost there, so I had to go back to the very beginning, um, sort of more of the beginning stage and just add things into it. And this is where I'm kind of at now in the process. I'm adding and I'm looking for that direction again in that middle stage. And as long as I know where I am and what, I'm, what my intention is, I'm not stuck. I'm not lost in the painting process. I might not know what it's going to end up as, and I might not know um, how it's going to look at the end. I might not even know the direction, but as long as I know where I am now, I'm not stuck. And that's a really important piece of the puzzle, really, um, when developing abstract artwork. Anyway, have a look, see how I find my way with this painting.
Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for today. I'll just explain what happened just, just now. Um, I got, when I did this line here, when I put that black on, I didn't like it. And I thought, oh no, you know, I've gone into the danger zone again. <laughs> Where I'm doing things, you know, that I'm not really, well, not that I'm not thinking, but I'm doing things that aren't working. And I'm sort of, get, I was sort of, I was hot. Um, I was sort of trying to rush it a bit, really. And so what I needed to do, or what I decided to do, was look at it differently. So I turned it again, turned it upside down. And um, suddenly I could see this shape in here. And I thought, OK, I'm going to get rid of everything on this side, which is what I did. I mixed up this bright colour and it just lifted it. And now I'm really happy with it because now I've actually achieved what I set out to do. I've got areas that are, don't have much in them and then I've got other areas that have a lot going on. It's, there's a lot of craziness going on in this painting. So, and it's, I like it now much, much, much better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave it because I'm hot and... Um, I've had enough <laughs> and I'll come back and have a look at it and I might make some, I think I'll probably, I've put some oil stick on here and I put a little bit of pastel on and so I think it needs another, another coat of gel uh, gloss medium just to seal it all. So I'm going to give it a day or so to, um, I'll give it a good 24 hours, it's really hot in here, it's over 30 degrees in the studio. So that oil stick will be dry by tomorrow. Then I'll, I'm going to put a, a coat of gloss over it and I'll probably glaze it after that or we'll see what it needs after that. But it's getting close now and it's got some really scrunchy... <laughs> it's got some really, um, you know, there's lots going on in it and there's, I think it's a sort of painting that... Um, you're going to constantly be finding things in it. Whoever ends up with it will always be finding new things in it because there's just so many layers, so many little transitions. Um, there's big shapes, there's little shapes. It's just There's a whole lot in this painting now. So it's quite satisfying to see, and that's, that's great. But I'm hot, so I'm going to stop and um, continue on with it. But I'm excited, so I went through... Um, you know, just a working phase. Then I went through a bit of a dip where I wasn't quite so happy with it. Then I turned it around, looked at it fresh, came in with some big changes, and now I'm excited again. And if it wasn't so hot, I'd probably carry on with it. But I need to go inside. Okay, we'll see what happens with it uh, tomorrow.